There are two ways you can make new vectors from existing vectors. One way is by adding two vectors together, and the other is by multiplying a vector by a number. You'll see later just how important these two operations are. Indeed, vector addition and scalar multiplication are fundamental to all linear algebra. In this video, we'll focus on vector addition. In order to perform useful calculations with vectors, they need to be of the same type. In other words, they must represent the same thing and the units must be the same. For example, two vectors would be of the same type if they both represented velocity measured in metres per second, or if they both represented displacement measured in light years. When adding vectors together, it's useful to imagine them rooted within the same coordinate system. This common coordinate system is called a coordinate basis. Imagine that this vector represents a force being applied to a spacecraft by one of its manoeuvring thrusters. If this is the only force acting on the spacecraft, it will accelerate away according to the direction of the vector. Now, suppose there's another force being applied at the same time by one of the other manoeuvring thrusters, but in a different direction. It's the same type of vector, but notice that this is a smaller force because the magnitude of the vector is smaller. The overall force can be calculated by simply adding the vectors together, like this. The result is a larger force in a different direction. You can express vector addition algebraically in terms of each vector's components, like this. The properties of vector addition can be visualised by placing the tail of one vector at the tip of the other. And it doesn't matter which vector you leave where it is and which one you move, the result is the same. In algebraic terms, we can say that vector A plus vector B is the same as vector B plus vector A. This might strike you as trivial, after all 1 plus 2 is the same as 2 plus 1, but it is important. This is known as the commutative law or the parallelogram law of vector addition. Here's another example of vector addition, this time involving some negative numbers. Notice that the parallelogram law of vector addition applies here as well. By the way, you can add two vectors together in three-dimensional space in exactly the same way. If vector A represents a force, for example, in one particular direction, and B represents a different force but in a different direction, the resultant force can be calculated by simply adding together the corresponding components of each vector. Algebraically, we can write it like this. Indeed, the same applies with vectors that have more than three dimensions. We can't easily visualise more than three dimensions with simple geometry, but the sums are just as simple, and we can express it algebraically like this, where n is the number of dimensions. As you can see then, adding two vectors together is not rocket science. Well, it might be. <laughs> 